Hey, I'm Wes and welcome back to my shop. So this week I made a candy dispenser. This is a super easy project to make. You can do it in one evening and you could do it with your kids. You could have all the pieces cut and you could have them just assemble it. And when they're done, they can eat the candy. Let's get into this build. So the nice thing about this project is it's made from scrap plywood. And what I have here is some Baltic birch plywood and I have some three quarter inch thick and I have some quarter inch thick. I even went ahead and I made plans for this for the very first time. It's about five pages. Well, actually, it's four pages. This just shows me what it's going to look like. And if you want to make this yourself and you want the plans, I'll leave my email in the description below and just email me that you want these plans and I'll forward them on to you. So just like you do when you build anything, we're going to start from the ground up and we're going to start with the bottom. Duh. Whoever builds a house and starts with the roof. Uh, I've never seen that done before. So the bottom is going to consist of three pieces of plywood. The first layer is the bottom layer and it's a quarter inch piece of plywood. And then the next one is a three quarter inch piece, but it has a hole drilled into it. And then the third layer is going to be another piece of quarter inch plywood. It's only going to be half the length of the bottom. So now that we have our three pieces of plywood cut, we next need to drill a hole in our middle layer. And on my plans, I was planning on a two and a three quarter inch hole and I don't have a hole saw that's two and three quarters. My next size up from that is a three inch and a three inch will work just as good. So I'm gonna use a three inch hole saw and if you don't have a hole saw, you could easily do this with a jigsaw, but a hole saw is a lot easier. So I'm just gonna use what I have to make the job done in the easiest possible way. Now we're going to assemble this and I'm just going to use some of Starbond's glue here and I'm going to use their accelerator because I hate waiting. All right, I'm switching over to their medium thick glue. I was using their thick before and that seemed a little bit too, too thick. I wasn't getting it tight enough. If you'd like to get some of this glue for yourself, there's a link in the description. And if you use the coupon code WES15 at checkout, you'll get 15% off your purchase. Okay, let's glue this sucker on. Yeah, that's gonna look pretty cool. And just hold it for 15 seconds and then she should be secure. There we go. So you might be noticing that nothing is very flush right now and that's okay because once it's all glued up we're going to take it over to the drum sander we're going to sand it all flush so i went ahead and i cut up the rest of the pieces that we're going to need and it's just a couple blocks actually this whole thing is just a couple blocks anyways yeah a couple blocks with some holes in it and stuff so next i'm going to glue it all together i'm going to bring the camera in closer so you can see exactly what i am doing so i went ahead and i cut these pieces and i cut this center one and i drilled a hole in there and i also cut the ends all right we're just going to glue the one side on for now don't glue your fingers to it if you do that it's kind of embarrassing trying to explain that one to your wife now this piece here it needs to slide through there fairly smoothly i'm going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to shim it by a paper's width. I think that should be enough. I don't want it to be too sloppy, but I also don't want it to be extremely tight. Oh boy, it got in there really tight. All right, let's see how that goes. It's a little tight there. She's good there. So I just got to sand that part there a little bit. Oh yeah, that's what we want. That's the fit we're looking for. Now we have to worry about our thickness of this piece. And I'm afraid, yeah, it's a little too tight. I'm just gonna take it to my belt sander and I'll sand this down a little bit. Okay, that looks like that's gonna be good. Next, we just have to glue the top on. Oh yeah. Now we can take this over to the belt sander and flush everything up. I'm also thinking I might lob these corners off just to make it a little bit more appealing looking and maybe kind of give it a little bit of a, like a retro look to it. Can you wave hi? 
<laughs> now we're almost done building this. We just need to build the mechanism that brings the candy into the dish. And we're going to glue on the front piece, which is a piece of quarter inch plywood. And that's gonna stop it from sliding too far back. And then we're also gonna attach one on the back and that's gonna stop it from sliding out. And if that happened, all the candy would just fall out and it'd be a complete mess. So we're gonna glue the front on, but we're going to screw the back on. That way we can apply finish to this. When it's all dry, we can slide it in and then screw the back piece on. And, then, and if we ever have to replace this, we can just pop two screws out, slide it out. And then we're going to attach a little knob on the front and I made this on my drill press. So we're just gonna drill a quarter inch hole and glue that in the front for a little pull. This is the smallest little knob I've ever seen. Oh, I love that stuff. Before we go ahead and we attach the lid so that we can screw our bottle on, we're gonna apply a few coats of this wipe on polyurethane to it. All right, I've gotten three coats of polyurethane on this. Now I'm just gonna assemble it. It's pretty easy. It's just a matter of sliding this through and screwing the back on with two screws. Cool, that's gonna work. Now we want to attach our mason jar. And I purposely found one with a lid. I hope my wife isn't gonna miss this. I'm just gonna use some of Starbond's thick CA glue to hold this in place. And then I'm gonna add some little nails inside just to hold it in place. Now I bought these little rubber feet for this thing and I'm hoping that will stop it from sliding around all over your countertop and stuff like that. These things are always a pain in the open. I'm thinking I'll just stick them in the corners. Now we just have to fill it with candy. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it entertaining. And if you're new to my channel, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss when I upload a new video. And like always, we'll see you in the next one.